Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see in today's topic, we will be talking about Vibrant. So I'm gonna briefly talk about what it is and why I'm using it and what effects I've seen so far. So yeah, let's get into it. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the product, Vibrant is this liquid aquarium cleaner that basically claims they can brighten and clear your aquarium up. What does that really mean? It means that it's really killing all the nuisance algae and whatever in the water to make it, you know, clear and uh, keep the customers happy. So a few years back, or very recently, a lot of people noticed that uh, Vibrant had this claim of being this 95% quote unquote cultured bacteria blend. So a lot of people looked into it, didn't really know what that meant, and they pretty much figured out that Vibrant was lying about their product and that it is actually an algicide and not this magic bacteria blend. So a lot of people were mad about that. Um, I mean, the product worked, but they were just kind of lying to the customers' faces about what it really was. This is important because people who kept acros in particular started noticing some very negative effects long term of using this product. I mean, some did and some didn't, it's always mixed. But for those of you that don't know, um, most corals have this thing called zooxanthellae. It's this little algae that kind of has this symbiotic relationship with corals. And so basically, whenever you're dosing Vibrant, you're kind of killing that off. So if you guys go do your research, there's probably some thread out there that where this guy lost like pretty much all his acros and they were like these huge mature colonies. So that kind of stirred up some heat recently. That was just a little quick summary to wrap that all up. You guys can probably do research and find a lot more threads and stuff about people talking about their experiences with Vibrant. But uh, yeah, so to continue, you may wonder why am I using Vibrant if there is all this negativity to it. And uh, to put things into perspective, for those of you that have been following along for a while, I've been dealing with this massive bubble algae outbreak over like the past few months and to be honest I never really wanted to take the easy way out but uh, I've tried the natural way you want to call it I added some emerald crabs and a fox face and so far both of those guys there has really hasn't worked out really well some of the emerald crabs I had started picking on my corals so I took those guys out and the good guys that are left are eating this bubble algae. I left them in, but there's only so much they can do because there's only like a few of them. They're super small. And as far as my fox face, uh, he doesn't really pick at a uh, bubble coral. He does occasionally, but it's not like his favorite thing, so you won't pick at it. My yellow tang has started to take at it a little bit, but it hasn't been sufficient enough to just wipe out the bubble algae. And there's always going to be uh, those little crevices or so that they can't reach in. So there's that. And as a quote unquote manager, my workers, aka the Tang, Foxface, and Crabs, aren't doing their jobs, but I'm not really throwing in the towel. As the manager, I'm still here doing manual removal every week. It's just that the rate of the boba algae growth just kind of is more than we can handle. So that's kind of why I've fallen back on Vibrant and hoping that maybe dosing this could help uh, just kind of push it back a little bit to where we can finally outpace the bubble algae growth. So not to make excuses for myself, but between working full time, balancing life, work, and my other hobbies, I just found that maybe dosing vibrant might just be the way to go for a little help. So that's kind of where this is heading. All right, so how has it been going and how long have I been dosing this for? I started dosing Vibrant at the beginning of January, I want to say. I've been dosing way less than the suggested uh, dosage. But so far, um, there has not been any coral death. And the Valonia has stopped a little bit. The bubble algae I'm getting are these like super small bubble algae that grow in clusters. Not really the massive ones. But all my acros have been doing fine so far. I have been noticing a little bit, uh, I want to say they look a little washed out, but there has been a lot of moving uh, gears 
during this time I have changed my flow adjusted my light a little bit and yeah just a lot of parts so I can't really pin it down on vibrant but maybe that does have a little bit of effect on these acros I typically come out at night and kind of shine a flashlight into my aquarium to check out what the nightlife is like all the acros seem healthy their polyps are always extended at night like crazy but during the day it is a little bit uh, retracted but I think that is pretty normal and some people have great polyp extension during the day others you know there's not so much there and to talk more about this specific acro that middle branch the one with the little two stubs right there those branches have not grown since the original frag but instead it has encrusted this rock and you can kind of see all the new growth that has uh, came with that so this is a little top-down view and I think about a week ago I started getting some cyano which has been expected if you've used vibrant before um, so honestly I'm a lot happier seeing cyano rather than bubble algae just because cyano is like way easier to deal with one thing I do not want to see is dinos so I used to think dinos was the worst before I've like seen bubble algae but some people uh, say that hair algae is even worse than bubble algae so I can't even imagine that but uh, here's uh, that pink acro again all the white branches are the new growth and uh, yeah it's kind of weird how the middle has not grown and I think I've had this frag for man it has to be at least over a year now so moving on to the other corals all of my euphilia has been doing really well uh, Miami hurricane here dragon tamer are clearing up really nicely haven't seen any negative effects um, to my LPS this is uh, my green torch here. It's starting to split really nicely. It's four full heads now and uh, possibly splitting. This little, uh, I don't know, I call this a blueberry torch has finally split the middle. Dragon Soul looks a little pissed off here. I'm not sure uh, who messed with it, but all of the Frimbophilia or Hammers have been hanging on. Um, they aren't as extended as I'd like them to be, but that's just a flow issue, I believe. And the other two torches near the back are doing just fine also. Moving back towards the left side, Ghanis have been fine. Same here, no negative effects with Ghanipora. The one on the left is probably a little pissed off from my clownfish swimming through it. But moving on to the acros on the right side of my tank, this Pikachu has been encrusting very nicely and its colors look awesome from the top down. I just wish it looked like that from the front panel. From the front it does look a little bit shaded. The Goldenrod looks awesome here. This is exactly how I pictured the Goldenrod to be whenever I first picked it up. So I'm really happy with how uh, this guy has been growing and coloring it up. My PC Rainbow starting to get a few little stubs i will note that the pc rainbow is one i have seen lose a little bit of its color it used to be a little bit more darker but now it's a little bit washed i want to say this acro is growing at the tips and still kind of greened out uh this one to be honest might need higher par and the last one i believe this is the cali tort um, I recently moved it to the right side, haven't seen much, it's been a dormant frag, so hopefully this guy wakes up pretty soon. Red Dragon has been doing just fine, I, oh actually I do note that I did lose one branch, like frag of the Red Dragon in my sump, but I believe that incident was totally separate and it was because while I was doing maintenance I forgot to turn off my skimmer and a lot of water came in caused it to overflow and maybe there was a nutrients overload and it just kind of bleached the uh, or i want to say rt end so yeah that kind of wraps up this video and uh my experience so far with using vibrant i know a lot of people say that um vibrant kind of has this negative effect afterwards or after you're done dosing it for several months so hopefully fingers crossed that my tank pulls through uh, I will note that I'm not encouraging you guys to use Vibrant 
I'm not here to like sell the product or anything. I'm just here to give my honest feedback and why I've decided to use Vibrant. I only really decided to use Vibrant because the bubble algae started taking over my corals. It started growing in between stuff. So that's kind of where it crossed the line for me. But uh, yeah, I hope to keep you guys updated and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.